Okay, this video is what is the healthiest food in the world? Okay, so first of all, what are the criteria? Well, what makes a food healthy? Uh, first of all, having low fat. So this is briefly a slide about the amount of fat in different foods. And basically, <clears throat> about the lowest fat you're going to find is in the three starches, white rice, white rice, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. <clears throat> starches are the healthiest categories of foods, and the healthiest starches, oh my tie, excuse me there. The healthiest um, starches are the lowest fat ones, and that's white rice, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. They all have about 1% fat. So by the criteria of starches with the lowest fat, it's rice, white rice, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Oh, by the way, there's some ridiculous videos on the internet about saying that white rice and potatoes are not good for you. That's ridiculous. Uh, Dr. McDougall had said that the sweet potato was the healthiest food in the world, and that sounded interesting, interesting to me, so I started looking it up, and I found, you know, the Papua New Guinea were eating about 93% of their calories from sweet potatoes, and they were quite healthy despite the fact they smoked a lot. Also, the Okinawans were extraordinarily healthy back when they used to eat uh, the majority of their calories from sweet potatoes. Um, how much protein do people need? You know, I talked about this a lot in other lectures, but the, the bottom line it came down to is people only need a very small amount of protein. Human breast milk has 5 to 6% uh, protein, depending on what paper you read. And it's thought, you know, Kempner was feeding his patients only about 4% protein. There's been studies showing that uh, starvation can be uh, very effectively treated with only 2.5% protein. So the bottom line is rice having 5% protein. Um, is more than enough, and same thing with uh, uh, regular potatoes, about eight and a half, nine percent protein, and then sweet potatoes are half of regular potatoes, are about four and a half percent protein. So those are extraordinarily good numbers. And it's, it used to be, oh, you just need calorie restriction to increase longevity. According to the research of James Mitchell, PhD, he has a good video online in something called like Wilhelm uh, Buchinger Clinic. If you want to watch this video, James Mitchell, PhD on a low protein diet, plus, you know, extraordinarily good results with uh, Kempner as well. And it's been shown that that, at least in mice, and it's thought probably in other populations, it gets a little complicated here. We're not going to go into all the protein issues, but certainly low protein is good. Um, so that's interesting. The only th question that lingers in my mind is what about beans? Beans are about 25% protein, and there is good reason to be believe beans are healthy because they're associated with a lot of longevity. Uh, in long-lived populations. So we'll come back to that on a different day. Okay, but the bottom line is the healthiest food in the world is sweet potatoes, and the reason is it's from the category of the healthiest foods in the world, the starches. It's equal to the lowest fat amount of amongst all the starches. Potatoes, rice, and sweet potatoes, all about 1% fat. It's half the protein of regular potatoes at 4.5% compared to regular potatoes are about 9%, 8.5 to 9%. Rice is just as good of a food if there were no hassles with it, but there's a hassle associated with rice. You have to work around the arsenic, which is doable, and I still eat rice a couple times a week, but it's not as much of a walk in the park as it used to be. So there it is. Healthiest food in the world is sweet potatoes.